What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, let's talk about Remedy once again. It's kind of that quarterly season, right? We hear about how's PlayStation doing? How is a Take Two doing, right? Is GTA still coming out next year? How's Remedy doing? Now, Remedy's kind of been in this little repetition where just every time we hear about them, one of their games that we're going to talk about is still not doing as well as I would like. But the other ones, consistent progress. These guys, I've said this before, like this team or this company just as a whole, right? Hundreds of people, extremely good at just getting games out. They're fast. Uh, it took Alan Wake 13 years, but they weren't working on it for all 13 years, right? Really, what, four or so years it took them to do Alan Wake? So they are quick people over there. So, all right. Let's break it down. We got three different things, right? We got Max Payne, we got Control, and then we got Alan Wake. First two are good. Third one is bad, and I will still can. People kind of skim over the Alan Wake part because most of what Remedy talks about is positives, and then you kind of get to, oh, Alan Wake's doing this and that, and it's not very great, by the way. Okay, so we start with Max Payne, and it is in the full production stage, and I believe it's the first time, well, really, this is the update, right, for all of them. Great news. Now, what this means, in, you could say, well, what, what the heck does that mean, right? So for Remedy, I think they've said in the past, when it's in this stage, it takes anywhere between a year to two years to come out. That's very important, right? Because there's been a lot of, I wouldn't even say like leaks or rumors, right? But more like speculation and just people kind of, you know, well wishes, right? That Max Payne, the remake, would come out next fall. And I think that's still possible. You know, if it were to shoot for like next November, you'd be giving them a year and then like three, four months. And I think they could do it. Honestly, they're, I think they're just going to take a lot of what they learned from Alan Wake. And, you know, I don't know if they could use the assets, but you know, like a lot of the dark place and the New York kind of vibes. I mean, that worked perfectly, right, for Max Payne. So I don't I, I don't think that like would shorten the development time by like a year or two, but I definitely think it would make it slightly easier, right, versus not doing it. Um, but that that, that's great news. Definitely great news. I'm very excited for that game. And I think actually, I think many people, maybe even more than Alan Wake, are very, very excited for the Max Payne, you know, one and two remake. So hopefully, you know, while at the earliest, you might be looking at next uh, next holiday, next fall, right? Latest, I wouldn't even probably go for two years. I think they're faster than that. <laughs> I think you could probably get it. Um, summer, it could probably, I guess we could just round up to two years, right? Summer of 2026, like at the absolute latest. So that's definitely getting closer. And Control 2 is now in production readiness, which I believe, you can correct me if I'm wrong, is like one to two steps behind Max Payne. And uh, I I've seen this kind of back and forth online in the Remedy, you know, kind of circles where there's the debate of like is it possible that control 2 could kind of you know like jump over and, and one up it I don't think so I, I definitely think just literally uh, at the stages of development that these games are at Max Payne is just literally ahead control is not in the same benchmark as Max Payne is so if Max Payne here's the thing though right if Max Payne comes out next fall if you're going like the earliest possible if Max Payne comes out next fall can control 2 come out in the summer of 26 and I think control 1 came out in uh, maybe August I think August of uh, 2019 so like they've done summer before Alan Wake they've done the fall before you know what I mean so uh, again that's the earliest that I'm thinking if you're going the latest you're probably thinking Max Payne mid 26 six and then control to uh mid 27 right maybe just like a year or so off of that oh and just as an honorable mention by the way codename condor they say it's in full production the development team has worked on multiple maps and different mission types and we have organized a growing amount of internal and limited external play testing for feature validation and feedback so honestly that one's doing pretty okay too and you know what look they've never really done anything like that and they were working on a couple multi player games and that one turned out to literally not work they canceled it right so uh, look, I think they're not going to do anything that they don't feel confident in and they don't feel uh, if they feel like it's going to be good, then it's going to it's going to happen. Right. If they feel like they can't handle it, as we've seen, it doesn't seem like those games actually make it, you know, past a certain point. So I I'm not um, like I'm not expecting the world for this, especially because it'd be like the first time. And I really don't know if it's up their wheelhouse. But again, you know, if they feel confident, they feel confident. Okay, now we get to the bad one, and it's Alan Wake. And look, we've talked about this. Uh, maybe I've made four specific videos on it, so I don't want to harp too much, and that's why I wanted to put it into this one. Alan Wake 2, shocker, still not selling well, has still not made a profit. And that shouldn't – okay, there's many reasons why. Shouldn't really surprise me. Honestly, it, do, it does and it doesn't. 
It does and it doesn't because the way they talked about it early on was like, okay, maybe it's possible, right? Like maybe they can do it. But like every time we get this, they always throw in, yeah, Alan Wake 2 hasn't actually done anything in terms of like making its money. It hasn't made it. I don't even think it's made its money back just in general. And then it also hasn't made profit yet, right? And I mean, okay, you can go to all the different. Some people will go down the uh, the uh, sweet baby ink route. Some people will go down the non physical. I like that one a little bit better. Uh, you can have that one. You can have you know Epic versus Steam. I like that one as well. I think those are the two bigger ones. Now one of them is slightly being fixed, right? So you do get the physical copies. I think pre orders open soon. I think they announced something on that today. Um, I think they run through like October 9th or something like that. And I think it comes out in October. You get the like. The deluxe edition, and then you all it also comes with uh, Alan Wake remastered. I'm it's still not perfect because there was always the back and forth of like, will it include both the DLCs? Does it just include one? As long as it has the freaking full game on it, let's not do this disc thing how some discs do it, right? Where part of the game is on the disc and then you have to like download the rest of it number one then don't even have the disc because that's not the point of having a disc and number two um if you're gonna do what alan wake did which is like just shun that community and say yeah screw off like we're not gonna do if you're gonna do that which i very much was like almost violently against right and then eventually you cave in and you do it you do not pull that with these kind of people including myself right you don't say, hey, for a game that is kind of a cult classic, took forever to kind of like grow into something, we finally give you the second game and you can't have it physically. Oh, but now you can and now part of the game's not on the disc. That last part should never, ever, ever be said, okay? So let me just throw that out there. But no, uh, that is partially being fixed. I think, again, DLC number two might not be on the disc because DLC number two is probably coming out after the uh, the physical you know uh, edition of it. So not perfect, close, <laughs> but not all the way. Um, and, and so, okay, well, does that help them? Uh, they got to get on the Steam thing too, though, right? That's what I'm seeing at least more and more. I feel like I have a pretty okay pulse on the industry, on Remedy fans, on Alan Wake people. I mean, I saw countless, hundreds, hundreds of people say that they will only buy the game if it's physical. Okay, well, now it's physical. You may or may not get those people, right? So you, you could get a couple ten of tens of thousands, I imagine, of sales on Alan Wake 2 specifically. Okay, now we gotta talk about the Steam, you know, epic situation and hopefully, you know, look. I've been kind of negative on Alan Wake 2, you know, in this portion of the video. It's my game of the year last year, okay? I love that game to death. I feel bad because, like, I want the game to do well because... I just don't think anybody really does it like Remedy. We were waiting forever. I do really love the story. Um, I, I love the lore. I love how confusing it is. I, I love all of that stuff, and I want those games to continue. And I think when a game doesn't make its money back, it's hard for Sam Lake to go back and say, okay, let's make the, the final game in the trilogy. But Sam, it took forever for the first game to catch on, and we could argue how you know, popular or profitable that is. Then the second game just didn't sell. So like we lost money and now you want to pitch us a third game. And by the way, and I have seen this in terms of more of like a dig on it. The budget on Alan Wake 2 was small. The reported budget is like $50 million. We're not talking about a Spider-Man 2 that costs like two, three hundred million bucks, right? We're talking about a game that costs $50 million and it can't even break even. Which to me, I mean, how many how many millions of copies does that mean? Where the game has probably not hit two million units, which is is it shocking? I guess not. Is it? Uh, because people always say, oh, well, this game won like you know ten awards and all this stuff. On it, to be honest, like I love that Sam Lake got his time you know to shine, and he deserves it. That that man is one of the true creative like visionaries that we have in the gaming industry. But people, and I've said this before, and I don't even think it's a hot take. People don't care in the slightest about awards. Any game winning any award means absolutely nothing to the general consumer. And if you think that they care, you're insane. Like, truly, that's my thought on it. And I think it's completely backed up by you can have a very successful game win a, a thousand awards. You can also have a game that just is more of an indie under the radar thing win a thousand awards. And then just nobody, still nobody will care because people don't really care about the award. The companies do, and that's fine. But that's just, uh, you know, to kind of put that argument or that thought to bed. I know it won awards. It deserved those. I wanted to win those awards too. Doesn't mean anything. It means that they were recognized for their hard work. I'm glad, but it, people aren't going to buy your game because most people, most people will not buy your game because of that. So I hope Alan, again, like I know it's been negative, but 
I'm, I'm kind of just like leaning into it because it's like, for the love of God, like they got to fix the issues that look, you fix what you can fix and then you can't do anything else. You know what I mean? Get the game out physically, do it right. Get the game out on steam, do it right. So like the PC side of it. And then that's it. Like if people don't jive with the vision because it's so wacky, it is what it is. It literally, like you can't really complain beyond that. You know what I mean? That just is what it is. But, you know, you do have a couple issues that you have to, like, finish off first, and then we can kind of just let it be. So we'll see. We'll see if it ever makes – I'm sure it will long term. I'm sure, like, five years from now they'll say, yeah, it made us some money. This is one of those games that just takes forever, years. The thing is, in the gaming industry, you can't have that. Like, nine out of ten times, your game needs to make money right away. You don't get three years to make your money back in the modern day. (laughs) Absolutely. You know what I mean? Your game's a failure. That's what it's considered. Uh, And I hope that's not the case here because Alan Wake 2 is not a failure in my heart. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.